What's up, Prayer Warriors? What's up? I just came on right quick. You know, it's resurrection. I mean, it's Good Friday. Today, my anniversary. It's my anniversary. Ah, it's me and my husband's anniversary. We made 22 years. Ain't that so blessed? That's, that's a blessing to be married for 22 years. You see, I done did my hair. I done did my hair. I kind of lean most of my edges out because I ain't sacrificing my edges, honey. So, uh, yes, I need my edges, honey. I need my edges. But anyway, what's up, prayer boys? I miss y'all. I can't wait to get back on track. I've been busy. I've been working in the salon. You know, it's close to um resurrection so you know i've been having clients and stuff and then my me and my husband was together today but i just want y'all to be encouraged happy friday happy resurrection happy good friday friday today friday man look be encouraged i pray y'all still praying and tearing for the holy ghost to be filled with the holy ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues I pray that y'all having a blessed day, have a blessed weekend, and stay encouraged. Amen. Don't get distracted. Um, let God activate your purpose, your destiny, the gifts on the inside of you. Tell God to fill you with his Holy Spirit, Acts 2 and 38. Amen. Be filled with the Spirit. Get filled with the Spirit of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Why? Because that's the comfort to living on the inside of you. Jesus said when he left and went back to be with his Father, that he was going to send us a comforter. That's so we won't be comfortless. And that's the Holy Spirit. So when you hear people telling you you can be filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit, you are walking around with a part of Jesus on the inside of you. Amen. People try to be against. Ain't nothing wrong with being filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I love to speak in tongues. I love to talk to my father. I love when God, the comforter, come on the inside of me and begin to activate me where I can begin to speak in an unknown language. Amen. When I'm ministering, when I'm talking to my father. Why? Because the enemy go about seeking, killing, stealing, and destroying. He is destroying the babies. Teach your kids to be filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Because sometimes we don't even know what to pray for. But when you feel with the Holy Spirit, God say, I will make intercession for you. People can talk about money. People can tell you how to get rich. They can tell you, there ain't nothing wrong with being filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't let nobody talk against you about speaking in tongues. Um, in the Holy Spirit. I don't care because guess what? I done seen so much this weekend with 15 year olds killing 15 year olds. People throwing babies off of bridges. Two and three years old. The kids turning against each other. It's so much negativity. That, that Leviathan spirit, that Python spirit come to choke the life out of you. The, these spirits is real. People are talking about the devil so much. And then got the nerve to talk about the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Let me get a scripture. Hold on a second. Okay, let me read you a scripture because it's so much going on in the world. It's nothing wrong with you speaking in tongues and being filled with the Holy Spirit. If that's how God you God use everybody in different ways. God, we are the body of Christ. Everybody's going to be used in a different way. Everybody's not going to be used in the same way. God said we are many members, but we are a, but we are one body. And we don't have to, if you don't have to look down on nobody, you know, to push yourself for or to put nobody down to push yourself for. Because guess what? God has purpose and destiny on the, each, on the inside of each and every one of us. And you don't know what a person has been through and why they praise God the way they praise God. You don't know what God and about they, that person through. Some people don't even look like what they've been through. I know I don't look like what I've been through. I thank God for saving me. I thank God for filling me with the gift of the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues because it keeps me. I'm a worshiper. I love to worship God. Why? Because God has brought me through so much. I am a living 
walking miracle. I am baby, 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 baby. Don't let nobody tell you something is wrong with you speaking in tongues. If God didn't fill you with a gift, it's a gift. People use their gift in however God choose to use you. If God use you however he use you, you don't have to explain it to nobody. You ain't got to try to convince nobody. Do what God say do. Amen. So listen at this and go and study it for yourself. Acts chapter 2 and verse 2. It says, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Huh? If God could come in and fill everybody that was in and suddenly came, it, the sound came from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. It's a, it was a mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where everybody was sitting in it. And he filled everybody with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And everybody began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there was the dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews and devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this noise abroad the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language and they were all amazed and marveled saying one to another behold are not all these which speak Galileans and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born and Okay, I'm just going to read that. So, y'all go and read that for yourself. So, let me see. I'm going to read something else. So, then Peter, then somebody had something to say. Then somebody said, and they were all amazed and were in doubt saying one to another, what meaning this? Others mocking said, these men are full of wine. So they was mocking them because they heard them speaking in tongues. So if somebody hears you speaking in tongues, don't worry about what nobody got to say. It's, it's, it's Jesus sending his spirit to you, the comforter, so you won't be comfortless. Because God say, I will... A lot of times we don't know what to pray for on rushing y'all. A lot of times we don't know what to pray for. So when you be filled with the Holy Spirit... The Holy Spirit will begin to pray for you as the Spirit give you utterance. And sometimes you might be up doing something and God just begins to use you to speak in tongues once you learn how to use your gift. You know, and you might have a gift of interpreting tongues. You know, as you speak, God will have you speaking because the Holy Spirit is speaking to you as you speak in tongues. And then he going to lay the words on your tongue to say. Amen. And then Peter's standing up with the eleven. Lifted up his vo lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of the Judea, and all you that dwell in Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words, for these are not drunken, as you suppose, seeing seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and you and your and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. This the word. This in the word. I'm reading it. This on my on my phone. This the word. 
Ain't baby, don't let nobody discourage you from being filled with the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues because it's the word and you need it. You don't know what you're gonna have to pray for. You somewhere in church or you could be doing a YouTube, it's anywhere, and your children could be out there and God just have you to go up in the spirit. You could be sending the angels out to protect your children, protect somebody else's children. You don't know what God is speaking to you to say in these last and evil days because we are living in some last and some dumb, some evil days. People are so cutthroat. They killing kids. They had one man out here in Louisiana. He killed his pregnant wife. I mean, his pregnant girlfriend. And then they had a two-year-old child. He took and threw the baby over the bridge. And you mean to tell me you're going to be scared to speak in tongues if God give you the spirit? Don't nobody have a heaven or hell to put you in when God fill you with the Holy Spirit. That is God doing that, not man. Not man. This world do not belong to man. God is the creator. He said you could be filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. You don't know what you're going to have to break out and pray in tongues for and pray against. So when you go out here in this world, what you're going to have to pray against because you don't know what to say. And God just have you to go up in tongues. You don't know. Don't be discouraged. Amen. And then I want to read. Um. He says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. And I want to read Acts 2 and 38. Let me see. Then Peter said unto them, and y'all can go back and read the whole chapter and study for yourself. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are afar off, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, save yourself from this untoward generation. And they continue still, now I'm, I'm reading 42. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things coming and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as many had need. And they continued daily with the one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house and did eat their meat with gladness and singing us in heart, praising God, having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. And I'm not saying, you know, go say nothing, but that's just how they had did it. But the, my point is you could be filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. You don't know who you won't have to be filled for the Holy Ghost for so your children can get it. So it could pass from general generation to generation instead of generational curses passing i rather the holy spirit the holy ghost to pass from generation to generation any day because money coming you can make money a trillion million different ways but the holy spirit the holy ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues is only going to come from god read acts chapter 2 and 38 and study that word for yourself and that's why when I try to get up, I read that word. I love speaking in tongues. I love praising God. I'm a worshiper because I thank God for where he brought me from. I'm a young, I'm baby. I'm from straight up from the hood. But guess what? I don't look like what I've been through. I've been married 22 years and it's only by the grace of God. And I thank God for my husband. He filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Guess what? I met him in church. He is what I prayed for. He is what I wrote down. You got to speak into your life, speak over your life. When God fill you with the Holy Spirit, you can begin to prophesy over your own life, speak over your own life, get a relationship with God for yourself. You know, don't matter what nobody else tell you, go and read that word for yourself. It's in the word. So I wanted y'all to know, I want y'all to be praying and seeking God. Don't be scared because God said it can't be done. You could be filled with the Spirit. It's a gift. Amen. And that's in the word. 
No matter what nobody else think about, no nobody can't nobody say you not saved because you feel the Holy Spirit and you speaking in tongues. That's the word. People looked at them, thought they were drunk. He said, No, they're not drunk. They feel with the Holy Spirit. It's the comforter. It's the comforter for me, baby. So guess what? I know I don't look like what I've been through. It's nobody but God. So y'all keep praying, y'all keep seeking God. Don't let your purpose die. Don't let your destiny die. Don't let your gifts die. And you keep seeking God. It's a gift. It's your choice. And when it come up on you, you use it. Because the devil is weak and hard. But when he get ready to pull out a gun, you think he's scared to pull out a gun? You think he's scared to take somebody's child out? These demons around here weak and hard and killing the kids. Kids killing kids. Baby shooting baby, a baby in the house laying down asleep and a stray bullet then went in the people's house and killed the three-year-old child. And you mean to tell me you're going to be shining to speak in tongues in front of the baby? You better get bold with that devil because the devil ain't playing. He trying to snatch every soul he can, everybody he can, anybody, somebody that knows somebody. He don't care. He don't care about your money. He don't care about you preaching or what the devil ain't scared of no word. He was up there with God. You see what he tried to do? They had to kick him out of heaven. And you scared this baby? If this what you want, seek God. It's your choice. It's not my choice. It's not nobody else's choice. It's your choice. Amen. So I was gonna read, um, let me read one more scripture too. And this when I was younger coming up, they had this lady named Miss Ida. And I wasn't saved or uh, none of that. Didn't know nothing about God. I used to work at uh at Subway. And she used to minister to me and I learned a lot from her. She taught me, you know, how to rebuke the enemy. She taught me how to start speaking over my life. She taught me how to write the vision down to make it plain. She told me I was about to marry the wrong person. She said, whatever you want in a husband. She said, you got to be very specific with God. You have to write it down. Do I look like I used to smoke cigarettes? Do it look like I used to drink, go to the club? Do I look like I used to call myself selling weed? Do I look like that? My lips used to be so black. I smoked cigarettes for years, but God delivered me from smoking cigarettes, weed, alcohol, being out there in the world. Baby, when I get a chance to praise God, I don't care who like it. I'm going to praise God for keeping me. I'm going to praise God for bringing me out because it was nobody but God. I should have been dead somewhere sleeping in my grave. I'm going to praise God. I'd have been married for 22 years. And I thank God for my husband. I thank God for my husband, baby. He is an awesome man of God. And baby, I go hand behind him. And he know he up in there. And I, I just, I thank God for my life. And baby, anytime God send me up in the spirit, wherever I, I don't care, I'm going to praise my God. Because I could have been dead. I could have not even woke up this morning, let, let alone been married for 22 years, me. Baby girl, my life is a living testimony. I am a prophecy. Huh? Baby. And people that know me, they know I ain't lying. I am a prayer. I did this in church. So I ain't got a front. I ain't got a son. This is me. This is who I am. I love to. I am a word, a hard down word. I love to worship God. I love it. And I can't, if God don't, if the spirit of God don't come, I just can't go off in tongues to just go off in tongues. It have to be the comforter that rise up in me for in order for me to go off into my prayer language. I just can't go around just, you know, no. But guess what? If the, When the Holy Spirit come up on me and he allow me to do it, I can hear God. If he telling me don't do something, if, you know, but how somebody else going to know that the Holy Ghost exists if you don't, if you don't if, explain it to them, if you're not doing it, if you're afraid to do it, God say, if you're ashamed of me in front of people, I'm going to be ashamed of you bef before my, be ashamed of you in the front of my father. Don't call on me when you need me. You better go sit down somewhere because I don't know you. Your work is of iniquity. I do not want my work to be of iniquity. And I love to keep it 100. So, it's your choice because don't nobody have no heaven or hell to put nobody in. It's God's choice. 
It's that's between you and God, what you do with your life. It's between you and God with your relationship. Amen. So I'm gonna read Malachi um chapter three, verses eight. Will a man rob God? Yeah, you have robbed me, but ye say we and have we robbed thee in tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me. Even this whole nation, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. The, to the storehouse is whatever ministry you go in and return your tithes. So you won't have all them curses. Because I know when I started returning my tithes when I was young, I ain't know what I was going to do. I grew up in the ghetto. Amen. And when that lady, that was the best thing that lady could have ever did for me was taught me how to return my tithes and offer. And God began to turn my life around. And I'm going to come on. I'm going to tell my testimony. I'm going to get on that live and tell it so I, can, I don't have to rush. Amen. You are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that ye may be that there may be me in my house. And prove me now here, here and Prove me now here with, said the Lord of hosts. If I would not open you the windows of heaven, if I would not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out blessings, he said he going to open up the heavens and pour it out. We be like, it ain't going to fall from heaven. Where it's come from? That's where the Holy Ghost come from. It come from heaven. God spoke this world into existence with his mouth. He spoke it. Read your Bible, read Genesis and see how he spoke it. He said, I'm going to open up the windows of heaven and I'm going to pour you out the blessing. That's what he going to do. You ain't got to depend on man. If I would not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Not me, not nobody else. He going to do it. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for he shall be a delightsome man, said the Lord of hosts. Read your word, prayer warrior. Read your words. So I'm going to get on here and get on up off of here. Um, Because it's my anniversary. Me and my husband still celebrating. I'm going to put up a little bit of what we did today. We went to the wildlife and feed the animals. It was really nice. Just like me with a, being a hairstylist. I ain't know how to do no hair. I prayed. I'm going to have to come on here. That's why I'm going to call my hair salon evidence. Because I didn't know how to do hair, boo-boo. God gave me that gift. Huh? Huh? Don't tell me about my daddy, baby. If he tell me I can speak in tongues and talk to him, wherever I go, I'm going to speak because these devils around here shooting up everything, killing everything, bombing, and you're going to come, baby, don't let nobody talk because when you talk against the Holy Ghost, you might not believe it, but you're talking against God because the comforter is Jesus. That's the comforter. He is He living on the inside of you. You might believe in, you believe in Jesus, you believe in God, but you don't have the Holy Spirit, so you still missing one. But that's your choice. Do they say that's going to keep you out of heaven? Heaven, no. But it's that extra dunamis power. When you don't know what to pray for, when you need to send that word and you need to get to your daddy, you can begin to go up in your prayer language. Don't be tricked. Don't be tricked. Do not be tricked. All right, y'all be blessed. I'm going to put something up. What we did for our anniversary. Y'all like my hair? It's my anniversary. Hey. See y'all deuces. I wish. That old devil. <laughs>